Welcome to dBeaver's YouTube channel. dBeaver provides broad data transfer functionality, from saving data to a file, to data migration between databases. We know that such capabilities are crucial for many of our users, and we want to tell you more about them. In this video, you'll learn how to export your table data into a file. With dBeaver, you can export your data to 10 different file formats. This works for both the entire table and the result set you get by running an SQL query or using the filtering. Let's look at both options. Export the entire table. There are three ways to export all the rows of your database table to a file. From the context menu in the database navigator. From the bottom toolbar of the data editor from the context menu of the data editor. Using any of these options will open the same data transfer wizard so you can choose the most convenient method for you. For example, we'll use the employees table from the Oracle database. However, keep in mind that this process is the same for all other relational databases supported by dBeaver. Right-click the table in the navigation tree and go to the Export Data option. The Data Transfer Wizard will open and you'll see the list of supported file formats. Here, you'll notice the difference between dBeaver Community and dBeaver Pro applications because it's only dBeaver Pro that allows you to export data into an XLSX format. Let's export our table into CSV, one of the most popular formats for storing data. As this table doesn't contain so many rows, we can keep the extraction settings as the default settings. However, if you export huge tables, you must adjust the extract type and the fetch size. To learn more about all the settings, please follow the documentation link in the description below this video. In the next step, we can adjust the format settings. For example, we would like to skip a couple of unnecessary columns. Here, we can do this by clicking the Configure button. Also, we change the header case to lower. In the output step, we define the directory for a new file and set the file name pattern. To get the list of supported variables, we can click the hint or just start typing the variable with a dollar sign. That's all we need to set up. We can now click the proceed button and wait for the export to be executed. The new file appeared in the correct folder, and we can open it and check that everything is right. Export the result set. Suppose we want to export not the entire table, but just some specific data from it. We can do this by executing the SQL query with the needed conditions. Another way is to use the filter field at the top of the table. In our example, we will keep only employees with a salary over 4,000. After query execution, we get a result set in a grid format. You may notice that it looks the same as a database table in the data editor. And it works exactly the same, so we can export the ready-made result to the file. To perform data export, we can click the corresponding button on the bottom toolbar or use the context menu in the grid. This button can also be assigned a different default command by clicking the small arrow icon on its right side. This time, we can see our query inside the wizard during the first step of export configuration. Let's keep all the preferences by default and check that the output settings remain the same as for our previous export. After clicking the Proceed button, we get a new file. By opening it, we can see that this time, only data corresponding to our SQL condition was exported. But, what can you do if your query is quite complex and you don't want to overload your server or the app's UI? In this case, skip the execution step and go right to the data extraction. To do this, just select your query in the SQL Editor, 
Open the context menu and choose from the Export from Query option. Now you know how to export your data into a file with dBeaver and can use it for your own tasks. In the following videos, we'll show you how to export data from non-relational databases and how this feature works for documents. Follow us and click the bell button to catch the latest videos. If you found this one helpful, please give it a like. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.